Hello, today I am doing an ink review on a Robert Oyster ink. It's Australian Opal Moth. Yep, here are my art. Oh, my little scribby. It's a uh, pretty purple. Alright, let's get on. The ink comes in a 50 milliliter plastic bottle, like so. And on top, like my little sample bottle, it usually says Robert Oyster Ink. Um, the name, which on this one would be Australian Opal Moth, and a little scrubby. Here we go. Let's go with our little scrubbies. Okay, this is a Bristol paper, and I put a strip of uh, Fabriano Echo Claw, and a strip of Tomoe River, and a strip of Rhodia. So when I do my little ink swatches on it, we can see them side by side and how the little shading is a little bit different and how it acts. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty purple. purple oyster. Alright, let's get rolling. Here we are with the rodeo paper. What I do is put the name down. I put my medium scrubby. My .6 scrubby. And a little bit later on, I came through with my um, pen to make a couple other corrections. And I noticed, hey, it is a little bit darker. This is only three days. So, it shows you that the ink does change a little bit. Plus, I'm in Montana. I don't know if the weather, the atmosphere, the humidity affects it or not. But, hey, this is what happened to me. The pins that I used were Nemesis Singularities. Here they are. I used this medium one and my point six. And this is on a rodeo paper. This is where I'll show you. Okay. I did my phrase a little bit of poison the forest and I came through a little bit later with my um, point six scrub and I was like, okay, well it started to fade. So I was like, well, I'm going to dredge it. So I pushed the ink through, you know, dropped it back out. And then, holy heck of poo, it got pretty dark. It took a bit for it to fade down to the original coloring. So that's my mistake. So if you're like, oh my god, look at that one, came out different. That's my mistake. User mistake. Okay, my alphabet, A through Z. Um, this is all done with the medium. I did a drop test on this one. And I, this is the medium. This is the point six. Did the water test. It lifted up. Um, it is not waterproof. And on the radio paper, it took 32 seconds to dry. So you can see the little smears. Let's flip her on over. It didn't bleed through. It does have some show through. But I don't think anybody really writes on, paper, on the back of their papers anymore. All right. Let's go. Here is with our Tomoe River. I got my uh, medium scrubby and my point six scrubby. And then I have my phrase and then I have my A through Z so you can see the alphabet. And on this bad boy, it took 36 seconds to dry. So you can see the smearing. Let's flip her on over. Uh, has some slight sh show through, but nobody writes on the back of Tomer or whatever, anyway. So, I big do. And then next, I have Fabriana Ekaqua. This is a nice, heavier paper. It's not a bright white, it's kind of a little, little creamy. Did my phrase and see right here, I'm a little bit darker for when I dredged it. My alphabet A through Z, and on this, it only took 17 seconds to dry. You could possibly write on the back because it didn't bleed through or show through, but it's up to you, your personal preference. And then next, I have a uh, Uberworks paper. This is paper I pulled from the little um, diary book because a lot of people has been like buying it because they said oh it's really good it's at a great price so i figured hey what the hell i'll throw this in my little sample one and it only took a couple seconds to dry oh yeah blow through on the heavier spots so if you're writing in your diary you probably only write on one side what i would recommend probably put um like the staples copy paper fold it in half throw it in between when you're writing so you don't ruin the other paper on the other side just in case 
Next, we have Staples copy paper. Um, this is a cheap paper. Everybody has this. Yes, it bled through. Yes, it showed through. Everybody knows this. I don't know why I keep on thinking it's going to not do it, but it doesn't. And then we have Mead notebook paper. I got my medium scrubby, my 0.6 scrubby. My phrase, my alphabet. Yeah, show through, play through, brownie face. Wah, wah, wah. But hey, everybody knows it's going to happen. You're always going to sacrifice the paper underneath. Pull the second paper out. Keep throwing underneath the one you're going to use. So you keep sacrificing that one paper. If in a pinch you need to write on it, you can write on it. Last but not least, we have a uh, post-it notepad paper. Uh, I like leaving notes with this paper. I did my alphabet, and I did not do my dry time. So that's user error on me. Did not believe through a shelter. But let's give it a guess shot. Usually, it don't take long for rubber oystering to dry on this stuff. 17 seconds max, probably 26. But if you're leaving out, you can. It's a pretty purple. Okay, my overall, it cleans great. It's a pretty purple. I love purple. Purple makes me happy. Purple may not make you happy, but it makes me happy because I know it's like 60% of the community love blue. And I think secretly they like purple because blue and red make, guess what? Purple. This is a pretty dusty purple. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend this. You can read it. It will not give you like sore eyes looking at an old full sheet going, oh my god, look at me and crafts it. Nope. Good ink. It cleans very well. Um, if you purchase this ink, uh, tell me about your experience down below in the comments and if you would recommend it, yes or no. Let's start our conversation. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, I would like to do more of these Robert Oyster ink samples um, reviews. I bought like 40 of these bad puppies. So look forward to see some more reviews. All right, if there's any you want to see, put it down below in the comments, and I will do my best to get it up for you. And if all it's files, go to Google Plus account under Banaka Beadwork. You will see um, my reviews. I will scan them, post them up for you so you can see them. All right, catch y'all later. See you later. Bye.